So this demo will be on final keyword in Java. What is the use of this final keyword? Very simple use. We will use final keyword with three, uh, with three different types. We'll use final with variables. We'll use final with methods. We'll use final with classes. We'll see how this final keyword works with all these three different concepts. Let's take a simple example. Class student will take. What is the use of this final? Say, I will say final string registration number. Final string registration number is equal to something we can give here. We can initialize it here or else we have to initialize this inside the constructor. So final string registration number. Why I'm saying registration number is final. So final plays the role like a constant. Say if you assign it once, you'll not be able to reassign the value again. So here final string registration number. Say registration number for an object will be assigned only once. I don't think we'll be changing registration number for students after you join the university. When you assign registration numbers, it's like final. For the next four years, that will be a registration number. So here, what we can do is we can say registration number is final. Once when you create this object, assign a registration number, you cannot reassign it. Say I'll create an object, right? So let me have a constructor here and uh, what I can do is I can initialize this registration number inside a constructor. So once when you have a final variable where you can initialize that, you can either initialize that directly here. This is allowed or you can initialize this final variable inside a constructor only. Please have this in mind. So how I can initialize this, I can get some input here, string input registration number like that and I can do this dot registration number is equal to input registration number. And I will also print this out. This public method will have display student and sys out this dot registration number. So what is that we have seen here? We are saying registration number is a final variable and we are initializing that inside the constructor. Now we'll create an object of type student and we'll create this so oh God, caps lock is on. So student object is created. Now we have to pass the registration number. Let's say one, two, three is the registration number and we'll call student dot display student. That is object name dot display student. Now when I run this, you can see the output is going to be whatever registration number we have assigned. One, two, three. See, we have understood what is final, but what we cannot do with final. I have already assigned the registration number. If I perform this, this dot registration number is equal to 122. Again, if I try to assign, this is going to give me an error. What, what is the error? Remove final modifier for registration number. It is saying I cannot again assign, reassign something because you can assign only once to a final variable. Is this clear? Now what, what we are going to do is we will inherit this class student. Say class, we have this BTEC student, extends student. So when I say inheriting, it means I'm inheriting all the public protected default variables when I'm within the same package. So let me say it is uh, protected final so that I'm inheriting this. And uh, what what I should do here? Class BTEC student extends. Now there is an error coming up here. What is the error? What kind of constructor you have in your superclass? Parameterized constructor. So what is the duty of the subclass? It should get the value and pass it to the parameterized constructor in the superclass. So what is missing here is you need a parameterized constructor. And uh, let me create the constructor. So what all inputs you are going to get? You have to pass registration number, right? String registration number. And uh, what is that first keyword here? Super method you have to call and then you have to pass registration number. Immediately the error is resolved. You see, you should never forget this. Since your super class has a parameterized constructor, you are getting that and passing it to the super class. Now our question was whether we are inheriting the final variable. 
So how will you check whether we are inheriting the final variable? So inside this uh, subclass, I'll have this public method and I'll say display btech. And uh, here, sysout, how can I access this uh, met variable? Super dot registration number. So I can just say super dot registration number. So if I'm able to access super dot registration number, then I it means that I'm able to inherit that final variable. So let's run this. Let's check whether we are inheriting this uh, final variable. Did I create uh, the method call? I didn't create the method call here. So let me call this method. How you create an object here? So B text student. And what we have to pass here? We have to pass the registration number and you call satish dot display btech so now if you are inheriting the final variable you should be getting the output so you can inherit final variables but after inheriting you cannot assign anything inside your subclass too. that you have to have in mind can you have a variable to be static and final Okay, in the same class, I will give an example here. Protected. We'll say it's not protected, it's public. Static. Final. Int credit requirements. What do you mean by credit requirements? I'll say 160. I just initialize this here. Say for all these student objects, there is a credit requirement. And for all these student objects, this credit requirements is common. So this will be allocated in the method area. Credit requirements will be allocated in the method area. And it's static. So it's allocated in the method area. And uh, what will be the value assigned? 160. Because we are not going to change this 160. What is static? It is common to all the objects of type student. And what is final? It is fixed for all the objects and how will you access it you will use the class name to access the static final variable you understood the difference between final and static final why i say registration number is final and not static why i say registration number is final and not static <laughs> Yes, because for each object you will have a different registration number. Whereas credit requirements is 160, for all the objects it will be only 160. So this allocation will be in the method area, whereas registration number will be on the heap along with the object. How will you access the registration number? Student object dot registration number. How will you access the credit requirements? It is nothing but class name student dot credit requirements. So in Java, whenever programs are working with constants, they don't define CO and ST, which you would have used in your C++ and C. Here we use static final to define a constant. It's like a global constant. It's not going to change. I have initialized the static variable here. There's one more way of initializing the static variable. I can use a static block. So what is the static block we have already seen, right? Static we can create and then inside this I can give credit requirements is equal to 160. So you can initialize any static variable using a static block. So here when you talk about static final, you can either initialize it directly here or you can initialize it only once inside your static block. You can't reinitialize it after doing this because it's a final variable too. Are, are you all now clear with how final is used along with variables? Any doubts? Okay, next concept is how final is used along with methods. We can define methods also to be final. How final is used with methods. Let me have this class uh, student. Inside this, I'll have this display student. I'll call this final. This is a final method. What is this? What is the meaning of having a method to be final? I can't overwrite that in my subclass. Say if I have this display student overridden in my subclass, say if I want to give some other definition for display student here, 
say I'll just have this public method and uh, what is this I'm overriding so what should be the case here display student should be given and I'm trying to give some definition here say this out this is my own definition like that error will come what is the use of this final method is it will prevent you from overriding the definition of a method in the superclass in the subclass why should we prevent that sometimes we have coded this class superclass we want to enforce that all the subclasses follow the same definition given in the superclass they should not redefine that in the subclasses then we can say this method is final so when i say it's final it's like you cannot overwrite that in your subclass the main concept behind using final for a method is you are preventing the override of that method in your subclasses you are enforcing all the subclasses to use only the definition given in your superclass what is the use of final with classes are you all clear with how to use final with methods final with variables and data members final with classes what is this so i can say final class student when i say final class student it will prevent the class from being inherited so it will prevent inheritance see immediately an error comes here you can't inherit a class defined as final sometimes you want to enforce that another class should not inherit your class <laughs> you have this wrapper classes in java do you want any other class inherit the wrapper classes no so in that case you will see that class to be defined as final so what is the use of final classes it's it's used for one purpose that is will stop inheriting stop inheritance you can't inherit a class defined as final is this clear we will come to the next uh, concept final concept i will delete all these things and then we'll look at this one more concept final arrays in java can an array be declared as final can an array of objects be declared as final say i'll say final int is equal to int uh, a is equal to new int of 5 now this array is considered to be final what it means can i assign some values and check say for int i is equal to 0 i less than a dot length i plus plus so what i will assign here to my array is a of i is equal to i i'm just assigning again 0 1 2 3 4 4 to my array and how will i print all the data for int k in a i'll use this enhance for loop so this out will print k so what should be the output here it should be 0 to 4 i guess let me run this so we are looking at final arrays what what is the use of final arrays here 1 2 3 4 now the question is can i again reassign some more values to this final array can i perform say again i will assign some values i say it's final uh, but uh, forgot control z my poor system is so slow that's what i am going to do i'm not getting any errors here i'm saying the array is final but i'm able to assign let me now run this if i'm getting the output from 1 to 5 it means that i'm able to reassign something to my final array why this is so say when i say this a is final it means the reference is final say when i say a is equal to new int where the allocation happens all the allocation will happen on the heap the reference will be to a so this a allocation that is final say i can't have another reference to a i can't say a is equal to new int of 3 i can't have another allocation for a i can't have another allocation for a because this is final remove final modifier so what it means when it comes to arrays the reference is final whereas the values can be reassigned a is pointing to one location i can't make a point to another location by using the new keyword are you all clear with final concept 